Wade Wolfman Moffat. Dana White Tuesday Contender Series. Of course, Jacob Kilborn was a victim to the Wolfman. You defeated him. Darce Choke. Uh, talk about that fight, you know, first of all. But people don't know you. You know, you're, you're from the Illinois area originally, but you moved out to Arizona. You're at the MMA lab. And, of course, yeah. your journey is taking you there. Training with John Crouch. Ben Henderson, of course, is in your corner for most of your fights. And uh, you've been doing really good, man. Lately, uh, you know, you've looked really impressive. And it was enough the second yeah. time around to give you the opportunity to get the contract from Dana White on the Dana White Tuesday Contender Series. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a great experience. I think, uh, I mean, everything went well in the fight. I had, I had thought I was going to finish him in the first round. I kind of, uh, kind of like stuck to what was in my head, which was, you know, oh, I can get this choke on him. So I just kept going back to it. I should have beat him up a lot more. Sure. But, um, but I mean, luckily, luckily for him, him, I didn't, I didn't do that. Do that. <laughs> but, but but uh, in the second round, round I, I, I got him got in the dark. So, so yeah. it, it, it worked out perfectly, you know. Yeah, I didn't really take much damage. I mean, he didn't hit me at all, so I didn't take any damage. The worst damage I got was from scrapes mm -hmm. from the mat on my leg, okay. so it was good. It was that's good. good. That, that's good to know, man. And you feel like that New UFC took notice of that, and that's why you were booked really quickly, man. I mean, this fight wasn't – you announced it about like three weeks ago, something like that? I've known the, I've known f about this fight for, and it feels like forever now. Honestly, I, th oh, I think really? I knew about this fight. I knew about this fight in August. Uh, I went out to my sister that lives in Rhode Island to to okay. see my nieces and 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 her and her husband. And uh, that that weekend, I found out about this fight. So. That was two weeks after my fight when the Contender Series. So I knew within two weeks that I was going to fight again November 10th. I'm sure you were happy, and were you surprised at all that they contacted you so quickly? Um, honestly, I, I, I wasn't surprised. I figured I was going to fight at least once before the end of the year. And I, I knew I, that's what I wanted. So I was, telling, I was telling my manager, you know, if something comes up, you know, put me in there. I really want to I want to fight, and luckily they contacted him and, you know, said, hey, we want him for this fight, and, you know, there ain't no saying no to your first fight, you know, see, so, sure. I got it, November 10th, I'm excited. But. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you're excited, because, you know, there's still a lot of Dana White Tuesday Night Contender Series winners waiting to hear, you know, when they're, they're, they're up, so, I'm sure that, yeah, have, having that, that made you very happy, also made you, uh, you know, you know, content at the fact that you are going to fight. You have a date. You have an opponent. It makes things a lot better. No guessing. Yeah, it makes it feel more more real. You know. Yeah. It was still. It was pretty surreal. You know, to to uh, to win. I wanted for so long, and then um, and then you know to cement that contract with getting a fight within yeah. two weeks of signing it. You know, pretty much. Yeah, so nice. so. Uh, I'm really excited for this. I'm I'm looking forward to this first fight. Definitely. And talk about Chaz Kelly. Like when I see this guy fight, I feel he's a tough wrestler. He's got a wicked submission game. Feel like the perfect matchup for you. Uh, I think he's a pretty good matchup for me. Um, his strengths are the stuff that I'm good at, and then I don't believe his striking is that that. Uh, that like impressive he throws some wild stuff you know he'll he'll come yeah. out in the beginning of the round like not touch hands and just like run at you and try and throw like a flying knee or kick oh, but yeah. honestly he does yeah he 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 does those kinds of things just so that he can he can grab you you know right. so uh obviously i mean he would he would like to just knock somebody out with that so i don't, I don't think anybody would not want to knock somebody out like that so i don't think sure he does it without the intent to knock him out, but his real intent is to is to is to get get a hold of you. So I feel like I, I know his game because that's the same kind of game that I do. I just don't do crazy crazy jump stuff like that. So um, so I think it works really well for me. I think uh, my conditioning is going to be really well, really uh, up to par for this fight, especially because it's going to be in Denver and 
and I've always been, uh, I always work really hard, so I'm not worried about my cardio in this fight. Mm -hmm. And I think, uh, I think he will be, you know, to push that pace on me, he takes me down, I'm going to get back up. You know, if he takes me down, I'm going to fight for submissions. Sure. He takes me down, I'm going to, I'm going to try and take him back down. Now. So but I think he's, he's going to get more tired than he thinks he, he will. He's a tough fighter, so it, it, obviously this fight isn't going to be, uh, you know, like a walk in the park. But right. I believe that this is a good, good, good first fight for me. Yeah, I mean, for sure. And uh, we're looking forward to see all the hard work you've been doing at the MMA lab. You know, talk about who's been helping you get ready for this fight and uh, working on improving every day with your team. You know, it's, like I say every single time, it's like the usual suspects every time I fight. You know, right. I've got, I've got great training partners uh, uh, with me. Oh, I can't hear you too well. You know, I've got really good wrestlers. Um, so I've got really good partners going on. You know, uh, a lot of guys have some fights coming up. And then when they're done with those fights, they come back and help me. So I'm uh, just really looking forward to showing everything that I've been working on. For this okay. Fight. Yeah, definitely. And, and you know, I'm sure you you felt like nothing's really changed, right? Because you've been training at this high level for so long. You've been in BFC, HFC, UFC. It's just in actuality, it's just another uh, promotion. But though it's going to be, you know, broadcast live to millions of people, you know, nothing changes, right, in that aspect. Getting ready for the fight, breaking down the opponent, it's just another problem to solve. Yeah, nothing changed about that. I think they just, if, I guess it might be a little bit more pressure for some people. I, I'm, I've never felt this way about, about fighting. Um, I've always been very calm. But I've never been super uh, excited. You know, I've always thought about fighting as like, man, this is something I've got to do for my life because this is what I've, I'm just put here to do, you know. And extremely, I'm not angry all the time about it. And ever since that fight, getting the fight for looking for a fight, and yeah. then the contender series fight, and now this fight. It, 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 I feel differently about fighting. I'm just, hey, relax. Oh. I've just been really uh, happy. Right. And I think there's a difference in how I train it. And things, uh, when I go up and I'm full of tense uh, anger, and I'm just happy about being in, in the in the spotlight and and showing off what I can do. Definitely, man, you deserve it. And you know, as you mentioned, you did go through the looking for a fight, and it wasn't the you know the opportunity wasn't there for that. But you you managed to get on the contender series, and you know now you've got you've got your opportunity to to show everybody. And um, you know, my next question is like time off, man. Like how did you enjoy a little bit of time off? Because you were busy. You fought in. Uh, April, you fought in uh, August. Oh, there's the wolf, <laughs> the wolf man with the wolf. Yeah, <laughs> baby I mean, wolf. Yeah, and then you fought uh, in Tennessee. I think that was uh, was that April as well. That was June. So that I was did June, April, right? June. Was June. Yeah. So you've had busy schedule. April, June, July. Yeah. Yeah, that was after that that bad fight that I had in January. Right. Then I would fought April, June, and July. Oh, I know. And, uh, and uh, yeah, so I've been used to fighting back-to-back -back and just getting right back into another training camp. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh, did I switch that somehow? Um, and uh, I'm just, I'm happy that's how it went, you know. Yeah. I like getting back in the gym and training as hard as I can. That's something that I that I always do. So, so for me to go back to back, it was just kind of simple. You know, I I don't really take time off. Mm -hmm. I don't take 
much time off. So it was pretty easy for me to just go back to back to back, and now and now I have some. Uh, I had a little bit of time to relax, and and luckily I got a little bit of like that's injury good, or sickness all sickness all out of the way. Okay. And I'm back in the full uh, full camp. Yeah, I had I had a pretty bad staph infection at a Contender Series fight. Oh, okay. Um, and that was I mean that was about it really. really. Sure. But. but it took me out of training for a bit. Right. Um, you know, talk about uh, your teammate. Uh, what your teammate Sean Malley? Unfortunately, he was caught by Osada for the caffeine pills. Like, any opinion about that, man? You got to really be careful what you put in your body. It seems, and that's surprising, right? Caffeine pills. Yeah. Cause I, 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 yeah. They, I mean, stupid stuff. I have more time on the game. Yeah. You, I mean, I was, just, I thought about that, and then I was like, oh man, I went to like one stop uh, nutrition out here, and I got a protein shake, and I was like, man, what if like, what, what if the protein that they have in here has some like stupid stuff in it, and they come and test me, and I, you know, right. like, ooh, like the um, stupid. You just have to, you just have to watch out what you put in your body, you know? like, uh, I, I don't really take supplements. Mm-hmm. So I don't I don't really have to worry about that. I'm not really a big supplement person. Right. I just like to eat food. So <laughs> I'm not a. I I don't think any of the food that I have eating that I've been eating have any bad stuff in it. So <laughs> so I don't worry about it too much. But mm-hmm. people that take supplements and all that, I mean, they they should definitely double check everything they put in their body. But I know for a fact if I'm used to taking caffeine pills and then I pop one before before training and then they they flag me for something I haven't been taking, then then I would uh, I'd be pretty upset, you know. I don't think uh, that's anything he has done on purpose. Obviously, sure. he doesn't. He's not, he's not that kind of person for yeah. for all I've known him for. So so. Uh, it just kind of a, it's an unfortunate event that kind of sucks, you know. Um, Definitely. He was about to beat he was about to beat this dude up, and uh, and then something gets in the way, so that kind of sucks. Yeah, and on the biggest car of the one of the big probably the biggest car of the year in UFC 229 with McGregor on it, you know. Yeah, probably. And well, yeah, well, yeah, for sure. Actually, no, it is. I mean, it was either this fight, it was either this would be the biggest fight of the year, or uh, or that. Uh, Stipe versus DC yes. might have been, but um, but uh, yeah, looking like McGregor would be the biggest fan of the year, obviously. Yeah, man, I was I think uh, Sean was hoping that some of that star power would rub off on him, you know, maybe get a photo out together <laughs> as well. Yeah, <laughs> he, 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 yeah, I mean, he, 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 Sean's already a pretty big star, and I yeah, think for sure that would have helped. Uh, even, even, hey, relax, dude. Sorry, my dog's being a nut. Um, uh, I think uh, that would have even pu- pushed him even farther, you know? So Definitely. Uh, that's part of the reason I was trying to get on that fight, that card, too. Oh, really? Because I kind of wanted, you know, I was trying to. Luckily, it didn't happen because there were, like I said, I, I had a pretty bad staff infection. If I was going to fight in October, I would have wanted to get back into training a little bit earlier than I would have. Yeah. So luckily that luckily I think everything works out for a reason. So definitely. Um so yeah, I didn't didn't get whatever I asked for. So, but sure. I got this instead and I'm all healthy. So it's good, perfect. But yeah. Excellent, well hey, you know, this is gonna be a big event. You talked about the twenty fifth anniversary, how it's an honor for you to be a part of that card and you know, just looking back at all the years of the UFC's been around, it's crazy that it's been twenty five years. So, you know, talk about just having the opportunity yeah. to be on that car. It's going to be a big highlight in your career. Yeah, for my first for my first fight in the UFC, it would be on a 25th anniversary card. And then um, people that I've looked up to in the featherweight division are, are uh, the main event for the fight, too. And it's pretty, it's pretty uh, surreal to be a part of it. Definitely, man. And, uh, what can we do on uh, November 10th? You take on Chaz Kelly, and you talked about him. He's a tough guy. What can we expect? Uh, 
I'm going to finish him this round. I don't know if you're around, sorry. Um, who knows? I mean, I'm just going out there to beat the hell out of the dude, honestly. So, um, I think he's a really tough dude. So, yeah, it's going to be second round. I'm going to finish him. Probably uh, with a submission. I'm going to say Dar. I'm going to keep saying Dar's choke until until I don't get a Dar's choke anymore. Right, so, right. I'm going to Dar's choke in the second round. So you, you so you're very confident in your uh, jiu-jitsu skills against him. Uh yeah, I am. I, he's a really good wrestler and, and I've got good wrestling and better jiu-jitsu than he does. So I think uh when he's going to want to mix it up in the grappling game, I think I think all around I'm a better grappler than he is. Okay. Uh, can you so, what you said? He's gonna be surprised when he oh. comes out there and thinks something comes out there and thinks I'm just some some punk kid, you know, first fight in the UFC. He's gonna run me through. That's what he thinks. So that's not happening. All right. So, well, Bobby, hey, it's a pleasure to have you again, once again, on the uh, Fight Leader Report, and uh, you know, we'll keep an eye out for the shirts and stuff. But uh, you know, best of luck, man. I think you're 100 percent focused. And you're ready for this one. Is there anyone you'd like to thank? I just thank the the MMA lab for getting me here, and uh, my manager uh, Mata Leon mm -hmm. for getting me out to the MMA lab. And now, uh, now it's just my time to uh, put all, all that work in and show everybody what I've been working on. Definitely, man. Great networking. Up. Uh, who do you have though this Saturday, McGregor? Or Khabib, and why? Uh, I, I really, I would want, I want Khabib to win because I'm just, I just don't, I'm not like a fan of how people talk about McGregor and their fans. But honestly, um, I'm starting to think McGregor's gonna really? win. Really? So, yeah. unfortunately, I think that's what's gonna happen Saturday. I don't want that to happen, but but fingers crossed, Khabib wins. But I, I, if I were to put money down, I would put money on McGregor. Definitely, you think by knockout? And I might. He's the underdog now. So. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, he's the underdog, so so <laughs> I might put money down just to, just to, just just to see what that happens. Sure, sure. Are, are you uh, you think he's gonna win by knockout? That's the only way he can win. So. This is this is how I see it. I think if if uh, if Khabib stands there for too long, which he normally doesn't do, so there's honestly a really small window that that McGregor will finish the fight, you know, and it's that the beginning of the first round and maybe the beginning of the second round, and then I think after that McGregor loses his his knockout power. And then he his cardio goes away too. Right. So if he were if, if it so if Khabib can get past those two moments, mm -hmm. then the then he's gonna win the fight. But it's getting past those two moments because I mean you see what he did to Jose Aldo. It was 13 seconds. So you couldn't get past right. those, that moment, you know. And part of that was because he because McGregor won the mental game. I don't think McGregor won. I don't think McGregor got into being uh, a whole days. So, so I, I'm hoping to be win, but that's that first that first minute, that first minute right. of the first round and the second round that that McGregor has has the best chance to, of finishing to be. And if yeah. that happens, I mean, I mean. McGregor's uh, fight uh, story, you know, like all of his fights, everything, it's all coming to, into his favor. So I feel like he's got a really good chance of, of the fight falling into his favor. That's what I think. Definitely. Well, thanks for that expert advice, man. Yeah. And uh, that, uh, Bobby, best of luck, man. I'll be watching on FS1. I'm sure everyone here in the Chicago area is going to be uh, cheering you on. At UFC Fight Night, the 25th anniversary show. Check it out November 10th on FS1. Thanks a lot, Bobby, for being on the Fight Report again. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank Anytime. you, Sean. Best of luck. Bye. Thank you. Bye.